Hey everyone and welcome. We're in my wormery and I've uh, been trying lately to deal with very uh, arid air. It's the start of winter and uh, right after a nice humid summer we're into a start of a nice dry autumn with winter on its way. And it's very clear in the bins that uh, that it's becoming more dry because the uh, the material just wants to uh, wick off and evaporate. Most recently, I've been demonstrating this uh, this option I've been taking instead of you know putting a lid on since I don't have lids for these containers. I've got a couple extra containers laying around in most cases, so I've just been creating a lid using an extra an extra tub and I've had I've had this set up this way for I think something in the neighborhood of 15 or 16 days and you know as you can imagine all these little spots are the tracks of worms exploring running around on the lid while there's um, moisture collected on it which right now where there isn't any and that's probably why they're not uh, swarming all over it but you usually find three or four worms crawling around on there um, and the other thing is that you can almost tell from the moisture of the paper that it might be time for a little bit more water in here as well but this has been working pretty good to keep the moisture in and then similarly down here on my other two red wiggler bins I've got something similar with a plastic over the top but in this case the plastic doesn't reach all the way out to the edge so some of the cardboard that covers the material another sheet of cardboard in all of the bins too had pizza the other day pizza box is now in here covering one additional layer of cardboard as well here too the moisture levels are a bit low but I can still feel dampness on the top of my hand as I hold this newspaper up so um, it's really not that bad the material in here but these um these extra coverings the extra sheet of cardboard and the, the plastic on top has only gone into effect I can't remember two or three days ago so it's just a new new extra thing to try to keep these uh, red wigglers all in a damp enough environment to keep them happy but I think what drove me to doing all of this in the first place was the vermi bags because the vermi bags are fabric all around have a terrific um, airflow and um, also just a little bit more prone to drying out if you're in a drier space so mine has the uh, the nice big screen netting top for good at airflow and ventilation however right now this cardboard as you can imagine is there to kind of um, shut that off and not allow for evaporation to occur through there and a little something extra that may have been visible here and there in my videos that there's something under there and in the past I had a couple much more narrow pieces of wood in here I believe they were you know maybe less than half of the width of this but it seemed like if I had something along the bottom of my vermi bag then at least the um, the moisture that would try to evaporate down and out through the bottom surface would not be able to if it was resting up against um, something a little bit larger than what I had there before so this piece of wood went in and the foil is just there to um, just be a you know moisture resistant surface so hopefully that's um, gonna help a little bit as well and here again this was just done a day or two ago so I still haven't had much of a chance to see what the effects of these are um, hopefully helping to keep the moisture in here too I've been spraying and doing my best to keep the moisture levels in here nice and damp hmm. somehow the material just doesn't look the way it normally does in my bins it's just all lumpy and everything um, but you can see a lot of worms cruising around right there on the surface so the um, here too the moisture level is almost the same as in the other bins as well um, which is really nice to be able to feel moisture you know on the paper that's right against the worms and obviously the worms are enjoying this top surface too 
with um, just by showing that they're present and coming around. I don't know if I can get this. Is that a cocoon? Looks like it, right? Could be. I'm assuming that's a cocoon, so that's another good sign. And as I showed before, my uh, my vent on top is covered by this. Previously, I was using this piece to cover up with, which was enough to cover the hole, but I'd seen maybe cutting it a bit close, so I uh, upgraded to a larger sheet of cardboard now. So we'll see how that does, and um, I'm pretty hopeful. I think it, you know, every little bit will probably help. So uh, let's go check out the Vermi Bag Mini. Vermi Bag Mini. Has had the same piece of cardboard, also a pizza box lid, um, for some time now. Doing the same job, preventing uh, excess moisture from evaporating through this vent up here. And the step that I've taken is pretty straightforward. It was just a, a sheet of bubble wrap, which um, just came back around and clipped onto itself over here. And to help support it, it's also clipped on back here. So I just took a couple of these little tiny baby binder clips to... Um, get it on here, and hopefully that's going to just create a little bit um, more of an enclosed section where the fabric isn't just up against the air, but a little bit, um, just a little bit of protection to maybe help with uh, evaporation as well. So, to help things out, I've got a light here. Here too, things feel much the same. Moisture kind of in the paper and in the newspaper, but not a lot of it, so um, it'll be it'll be getting watered soon. I just come in here with the spray bottle and make sure everything's nice and damp and comfortable. But here too, you can see worms are hanging out right on the top surface where they um, seem pretty comfortable. And here, these being uh, European night crawlers, yeah, the European night crawlers. Um, seem to be doing pretty good in here as well. And here's this one piece of cardboard in addition to the paper down on the bottom. Um, here in the bags I, I was sticking to the one piece of cardboard like I've had the whole time. So in the bags I didn't get the second piece of cardboard um, onto the material like I did in the in the other bins, everything covered back up here, and maybe we'll see some improvements. So for now, that should do it, and I'll obviously be monitoring how things are progressing here as time goes on. But hopefully, this will just make it a little bit easier, a little bit less overhead to keep the moisture level comfortable for these guys, and um, you know, not have to be applying water constantly to keep things in balance. So huh, we'll see. And if, um, so, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, hey, if you enjoyed this video, then, you know, hopefully, uh, I can convince you to come on and, uh, subscribe to the channel, and you'll see more videos like this in the future, talking about worms, and talking about vermicomposting, so if you enjoyed the video, then please remember to give me a thumbs up, I always really appreciate that, and also consider coming on to, uh, subscribe to the channel, and maybe even, uh, click the bell to get notifications. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching and for keeping me company. Have a great day. Bye now. Oh yeah, as long as we're down here, how about a little sneak preview to what's happening over here in my time-lapse chamber.